Woohoo! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! What? It's time to spill your blood. Speaking of spilling of the blood, I love that line. Exile the chosen ones is finally out. That's right. The tiger has been released from the cage, motherfuckers. That's right. That's right. The beast is out. The beast is out, baby. Yeah. That's right. That's right. What is going on? Look at all these badasses here back on the channel. We got director Ranjit in the house. How you doing, brother? Well, good, man. Thanks for having us on the show. Hell yeah. We got returning badasses. That's right. David and James, how are you guys doing? Oh, man. Thank you for having us back. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Thanks, man. It's good to be back here with all good these Good to see you, Preston. <laughs> oh, man. Last time you guys were on the show, man, you had me in tears. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> you guys were cracking me up. Uh, so I was like, we got to do this again. And yeah, what a we have fun doing occasion. Way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a momentous occasion to get you guys back on here so we could talk about know, exile. And of course, legend himself, the birthday boy. That's right. Sonny Pang. How you doing, bro? Hey, what's up? Yeah. Right. Sonny's 21 again. <laughs> no, 15, <laughs> 21. No way, dude. Well, you don't look your age. I tell you that, brother. You do not look well, your uh, age. You know, I look well, like I'm 85. <laughs> Why well, color my hair, man? I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> and newcomers, newcomers, we have Billy the Butcher himself. Carl, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> thanks for thanks for the invite, uh, Ranjit, and uh, good to be here. Yeah, welcome, welcome. And Warren Hicks, new to the Hello. channel. How are you, my friend? Thank um well, thank you. Thank you for having me on. It's lovely to be here with some old acquaintances and some and some new acquaintances who I know a lot about, including Why yourself. Acquaintances? Family, brother. Family. Family. Sorry, granddad. Own family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, is this is this was this your first collaboration with Ranjit Warren? No, mate. I've worked with Ranjit probably more than I've worked with any other director um, over the All years. Right. To be fair, um, especially on screen. Um, I've been working with Ranjit since he was making films out of his parents' bedroom. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> not like Me that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but that, we, yeah, show. I mean, we met through uh, me auditioning for a, a film that got cut uh, because the budget fell out many, many years ago. Best, what was it, Ranjit, a decade ago, something like that? Give or take, yeah. Ish. Um, and got on. Um, decided that we were both very passionate, very, um, you know, driven towards the industry. And one thing led to another. Ranjit became the master that he is now and thankfully still wants to work <laughs> with me. Um, it's only because he, he, he gets to beat me up a lot of the time, really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> puts me in a lot of positions that he knows that I'll just, just take. And then when I'm there, I'm moaning about it. But no. You love um, it. We've worked, we've known each other for quite a while, haven't we, mate? Yeah, a very long time, man. Just the same like everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one great thing about Ranjit, to be fair, is he, he's very driven about just, just getting content out, decent content out, and working with really, really talented people and bringing them all together and, and repeat working with them. Um, he cuts out any fat. He really does. Anything that's just not good on a film set, just doesn't happen so nice nice it's nice to work on well, i think awesome. you'll awesome. agree and you're also yeah, in the upcoming rupture as well correct yes yeah. there yeah. you go also starring my boys david and james that's yep. right that's right that's right yeah, uh, I, will add, I, I was also cast in that unfortunately i was in another project which clashed oh you missed well, a good one carl yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sure Ranjit will have you in some future projects, so, so for sure. <laughs> yeah. for sure. I'm not he told me that wrote him off the next five yeah. films or something, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Before we jump into the, the movie, and uh, cause Samurai Guy, I just watched this, baby. That's right. I just watched this a couple days ago. I'm sorry I'm late to the game, uh, but I've been crazy busy lately. So before... We jump into it, and I, I give my thoughts on the film, and then we could talk about you guys' experience creating the movie. I could ask Ranjit, Ranjit, hey. you did it, you did it, man. How do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> 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 
my boy, the general. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it feels good, man. I mean, like I, I've, I've been on record since before. I mean, the Amazon release phase one of the release. Um, that handsome motherfucker, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's still two more phases of, of the movie to go yet, release wise. Um, I, 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 I will give you away a little information a bit later in the show. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm 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 itching here. I'm excited. I want to hear the juice. I want to hear. I want to hear the juice here. Uh, but I'm sure everyone here is excited. The movie's out and released, and now everyone can you know watch it. And uh, this man, from those trailer reactions that I did for the movie a long time ago, uh, fifty years ago, it seems like now. Uh, <laughs> finally, seeing the film. I got what I wanted, basically. I got what I wanted. The vibe, the 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 dirty, gritty, bloody, no nonsense. We're not here to fuck around vibe I got from the trailers, those early trailers. I got it in the movie, man. And I am happy to say that this motherfucking movie <laughs> scratches the motherfucking Yay. action itch, baby. That's right. That's right. Brilliant. I have Scratches that itch, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That, and that credit, that credit, Preston. I give, I have to give to Sonny because Sonny was the uh, um, he helped us and guided us through the action a lot because the UK scene doesn't really. <laughs> <laughs> like in the UK, we don't we don't really have that kind of action, and Sonny coming over from uh, from Singapore, where yeah. in action. And him working with Timo on headshot and hell yeah, for us and you know him in his own country shooting shows like Lord of Law and all that kind of stuff is Sonny fucking knew what he he knows what he's doing. So when we were struggling at times in exile to be like fuck, what do we do? We don't know like how do we do this? Sonny just step in, do his thing. This is how you guys do it. So a lot of the actions done that stuff. I have to. You Where's my bonus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send two protein to you. Um, <laughs> Sonny was the reason the action is the way it is. I mean, credit to Nick as well because Nick built a lot of stuff. But yeah. Sonny came and was like, look, last minute changes we need to make. If we don't have the time. We have to do this, 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 and this. This is how we do it. And right. it's the reason why the action looks so good is because of one yeah, Nick creating really good memorable sequences, but yeah. the refinement of the action was because of Sunny. And if no. Sunny wasn't there and we had somebody else who was in, inexperienced, didn't know what they were doing, we would have doubled our budget, doubled the shoot, and it's because of Sunny. And um, I say this to Sunny all the time. I know he, I know he's, he's not that kind of person like he's doing now. Is you know it is. Because of Hi. <laughs> Sonny, you're so beautiful, man. What is your secret? You get better looking with age. Yeah. Honestly. Well, it's got to... <laughs> you know, then. <laughs> it's called beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Warren, Warren, before you got in here, we were I was talking about how Sonny he needs to start modeling now at this point. He's gonna he change careers. He's gonna change careers. He's done being an actor, he's gonna model. That's no, it. No. I got a film idea that, that Sonny can do with me, you know. No, no, thank you. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> uh, but, I don't go uh, deep shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're making the right decision. I've been in some dark places with Granddad. It's not yeah. good. It goes very deep into the darkness, does that yeah. one? <laughs> a little too deep. Hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, we we salute yeah, Sonny Pang and Nick Khan and all the badass martial artists and stunt crew uh that made the movie happen. We gotta salute. Uh, I always always give respect. That's right. Mm -hmm. Always give respect because they make it happen. Well, uh, well, I have something to say about this. You know, I mean that. You know, I was kind of concerned that you know, Ranjit, um, you know, asked me over and do all these things. I said no problem, man. You know, but when I was uh, doing the actions and I I noticed that there's something wrong somewhere, 
So I'm I'm concerned for 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 the budgets for Ranjit as well because I don't want to disappoint him, you know. So I sort of I set up a meeting and uh, spoke uh, speak to Ranjit and the producer. I said there is something you need to change. Uh, uh, I mean, in terms of the action, you know, the rhythm is uh, sort of like it's not even there. I mean, as an as a as a person who do action a lot, and I'm an action director myself. So I said, you got to have that pacing, that that tempo, you know, and the rhythm of the work. If not, you're gonna surpass your budgets and your time, and you know, the, all this overtime you you don't have the budget for. So I just I just step in and just point a couple of fingers and just say a couple of things, and you know, we just get things done. You know, I, I'm obviously I was very concerned of Ranjit because. As as a first time that you know, not for, I mean, action wise in terms of like, I, I see a lot of bits that is missing. So I just say that no, you need to fill in this, this, and this. And also uh, Nick, uh, fake Russian, you know, I mean, he <laughs> obviously he had done 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 a bit of action, you know, but you know, uh, but the, the the kind of action come across. I say that mm, I, I just tell myself no, you have to change this a little bit. I mean, I, I always raise my hand. Can I? Can I have something to say? So, I changed the, the the beats that has a certain tempo, and you know, like the way he kicks me, I say just go ahead and kick me because I'm padded, right? right so when right. the moment he kicks me, I remember there was a first take. I said when he kicked me, I felt it, but I felt the boots was rubbing on my nipple. I just no 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 no, <laughs> <laughs> kick me, not rub my nipple, numb nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this took a left turn. Yeah, no, it took a left turn, right? So when I, when I go back and check, my nipple is still not sore, so it's okay. <laughs> so that's the key. Sore no, nipple. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's the new name of the film. <laughs> so, chosen ones. so, I mean, that sometimes you just need to have that impact shot, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Because we, we do a lot, you know, I got kicked in the face before, I got punched in the face before. In headshot, I really got punched in the face. I said that, you know, just go ahead. You know, I can take the punch. Right. So I think that those kind of moments that it's uh, very important in terms of actions. Yeah. Nice, mm. nice, nice. It's, everybody just works together to make the project yeah. happen. It's like one, was just, one big family there. But go ahead, Warren. Yeah, you were trying yeah, to Yeah, sorry. No, no, no. I was just going just gonna to cut in and say, like, that, that does, again, lend credit to Ranjit because he's the director, obviously. But he's yeah. always open to taking these ideas on because he knows that people like Sunny are experienced in that area, and he's he's there going, I want to learn, I want to, I want to be better, I want, I want your input, you know, wh whether it be right or wrong, whatever it is, on a film set, he he'll take it on board and he'll do what's best for the final cut, um, and and for the audience, which I've always noticed on his sets. I don't want to make his head too big because you know he's big enough. He is who he is. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but yeah, it, it, I agree. I agree with it. Help. It makes the environment on the film yeah. so much better because we, we get, mate, where we shot Exiled, that was not a nice place. Yeah. <laughs> that was not a nice place. It wasn't. <laughs> and to have a crowd around you that you, you get on with and you can work well with, it, it, it makes it easier. It does. It was literally the Badlands where, <laughs> where you guys filmed yeah. the movie, and and I remember Ranjit mentioned before there was some paranormal stuff going on as well, and Sonny Pang oh, yeah. showed up like a fucking badass Ghostbuster, kicked its, <laughs> kicked its ass, you know, and then you said, oh, Sonny Pang. <laughs> there you go, Ranjit, another movie idea. That's it. Sonny and Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! We're not That's doing true. we're not doing Blind Wolf anymore. We're doing Ghostbusters. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the film a little bit here. And right off the bat, the beginning, uh, this opening sequence definitely sets the tone and the vibe uh, of yeah. the film. I just we're 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 right off to the bat, you know. These poor, poor people <laughs> forced to be contestants uh, <laughs> to, to basically kill each other. And there will be one survivor or will they uh, be a survivor? But yeah, right off the bat, I was like, OK, I like it. I like it. This is this is how you start the movie. And fucking the fake Russian. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I mean, this dude was just like 
I felt sorry for everybody going up against uh, this character. Uh, but a little shout out to uh, Cryptic Soul there. Yeah, a big shout out to Cryptic Soul on the left there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. He's, his name was Igor, right? Correct, Ranji? Igor Dragovich, yeah. yeah. Igor, man. You don't want to fuck with this dude at all. He's a fucking Terminator, isn't he? Fucking Terminator. <laughs> for whole film. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, I, uh, go ahead, Ranji. Can I give you some little, like, uh, insight of what happened with Nick, Nick's character. So sure. what happened was, so Nick had all this huge dialogue he was supposed to do throughout the movie. And for those of you that have watched the movie, Nick says literally two lines out of all these dialogue. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, came, I came to the edit and I was like, where the fuck is Nick's dialogue? <laughs> and I realized that the fake Russian forgot all of his lines. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so when I spoke to him, I'm like, dude, you had like maybe 15, 20 lines in the whole movie. You literally gave me only two lines. And he was like, did I have lines? <laughs> <laughs> wow you know what's funny though yeah what's funny is that him speaking less actually was more and effective did. and it did and and that was was you know it, it was like a it was like a happy mistake that happened um and i think him saying less actually gave his character more yeah uh, in terms of a physical presence bringing that and it was just and all the reviews that we've had for the movie so far is like nick is a menace it's just yeah. like, and I think, yeah. I think it worked him not having his lines. I think next time I'm having him in movies, I'm just not going to give him any lines. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like James said, he's the he was the, he's you know almost like the Terminator, man. Yeah, he, was just, yeah. he, was just, he literally was like he was like an army tank throughout the whole movie. He was just ripping through everyone. Uh, yeah. Ranjit, how was it uh, like working with this legend, Oka? Oka, yeah, Oka was this dude. I don't have enough praise to give this guy. I mean, my first experience of Oko was in the Raid Two, and yes. uh, just from from seeing that movie alone, I mean, you know, he, his performance in that movie it speaks volumes. And I was like, I need to work with this guy. So, I think with the help of Brother Sunny, we was able to get in contact with Oka, and you know, um, and he was nice. like, yeah, he goes, he goes, I know of the movie, you know, he goes in production. So it's crazy that we actually shot all of Oka's scenes three months after the movie had wrapped. Right, and right. because Oka uh, Oka is in Jakarta, Indonesia, and I'm in the UK, it was during COVID. I couldn't fly out to Indonesia, so I directed all of Oka through Zoom. For wow, 24, for 24 hours, and um, there was a whole massive crew out there, um, and I was like raising with the production unit over there, the first AD over there with Oka, and I literally did not sleep for 24 hours. And it was like my computer was running for 24 hours, directed the scene. And and it was like, and the moment we called rap, I literally walked over to my bed and I just zonked out. Oh, man. Yeah. And it, it was, but it was an amazing experience, man. I mean, I still haven't met Oka face to face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we video chatted a bunch. We've made a movie together. But I've never, <laughs> met, I've never met the dude. Met. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's impressive. You know, yeah. you faked me out, Ranjit. You faked me. You faked me out because I thought he was the ghost. Yeah. While watching the movie, and then later in the movie, let's see. I let's see if I have a screenshot here. I thought I had one. Here we go. This guy is the ghost. <laughs> you know, Pops. making sure people Pops. don't escape. Yeah. That's your, so that's your dad. That's my dad. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. But I was like, oh shit, he's really the ghost. That kind of yeah. You faked me out there, man. Yeah, so, so there was a, a ghost hunting the ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to make uh, sure keeping these contestants in line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, let's keep rocking and rolling, man. But yeah, uh, how was it working with Hannah? Hannah's cool, man. Again, like like Ochre and Hannah came directly through Sunny. And, uh, you know, just and having the added bonuses of, of, of them too, as, as, as well as it's funny. You know, people know Hannah from obviously the night comes for us and a bunch of other movies she's been in. Hannah's got this very like graceful presence about her. 
Um, yeah. And, and it's almost like she's one of the boys. Like you can you can have a laugh and joke with her, and it's just like, and she'll give it back just as good as she gets it. And it, it, and and me and Hannah are actually almost the same age, and it, it was like, and she speaks like a proper London girl, and she's got the London London ghetto vibe, and it's, it was amazing. And I was like, I thought you was in Indonesia. She was like, No, I'm born and bred in London, man. And it, and, it, and it was it was cool working with her, and, you know, having her on the movie. You know, I think. We needed that strong female presence uh, yes, because, yeah. because let's be honest, Exile is a complete dick fest. That's why you like it. <laughs> so, uh, I needed I needed the female elements. There are a few female characters in the movie, but yes. Hannah, was, Hannah was that that emotional connection. I think the audience needed. And, yeah, uh, and, the eye candy. Yeah. Well, I really and, <laughs> She was that female presence, which was, you know, clearly lacking in the movie. And, you know, I think her story alone, I think, is, you know, we could explore a whole feature film with just her character alone. Oh yeah, yeah. She was she was definitely great in the film, yeah. and I enjoyed her and Sonny in the Buffalo Boys, baby. Shout out to the yeah. Buffalo Boys. Buffalo um, Boys. but um, man, I I won't say anything. I know I know you said we could talk about spoilers. <laughs> but all I'll say all I'll say I'll leave some mystery. Uh, I'll spoil some other things later, but I'll leave some mystery. I was completely stunned with what happens to her character in the movie, man. I, my jaw dropped. I was like, did that just happen? <laughs> oh shit. I was like, holy shit. So, yeah, I was like, wow, but I'll I'll leave some imagination to everybody watching yeah. right now. I won't ruin that. Um, but yeah, still with the fight, Sonny. You know what I'm saying? Right there, enjoyed this one as well. That's them holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> if Samurai Guy was in the movie, I'd be this character. This was, you know, I'll be the character. We, on shot, the this. Yeah. we shot this for like uh, less than three hours. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we shot nice. it for less than three hours. That yeah. was right after when I finished uh, chatting with uh, Ranjit and the uh, producer. I said, "Let me take over for a day and let you see what what I'm talking about." Nice. So we shot this whole scene for like less than three hours. We're done. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was brutal, fast paced. That's how I like it. it you know, great. going back to uh, yeah. your character, Sonny, what I liked yeah. about your character in the movie was that you reacted realistically to everything. <laughs> <laughs> like your character is just like, what the fuck is happening? Like, what is <laughs> going on? Who are you? <laughs> Why are we here? What the you know? Like I enjoyed that. You know, I was I was cracking me up. Yeah, um, the, it was fun, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was really cold, and uh, you know, I mean, I'm from Singapore, right? I yeah, mean, yeah. Never been to London. I never been to UK. So just like I thought, that, uh, maybe just a t-shirt would do. Or you know, when I yeah. step out of plane, holy <laughs> shit, man, it's cold. Stop <laughs> 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 the stuff floating in, man. It was just like holy crap. Is every time I'm. Get off of my room and just like fucking hell, man! It's just so fucking cold. Was that why you look like an Eskimo on set? Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> that's the whole point. I request for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man! But yeah, a lot of fun, memorable characters uh, in this film, and we're gonna get to the first character right here. What? What? Hey, Billy Billy the butcher. Billy the butcher. <laughs> All right, Carl. Oh no, he's got the hat. There you go. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So it's Carl, a cool hat, that. Fourteen. <laughs> Wait, well, hold on. I gotta play. I gotta blow it up. Hold on. <laughs> oh, look at that, styling, <laughs> styling and profiling, baby. Uh, but uh, yeah, Carl, put that hat back on, brother. There you go. There you go. Represent. Oh man, so. Uh, what did you bring to this character? Did you have any influence or inspirations, or you just brought Carl? No, I left Carl outside um, because uh, it was absolute shit place to film. So I didn't want to be there myself. So Billy was okay with that. He was fine. Um, no, with with this character, it was um, we 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 talked a little bit about this character earlier on um, on a little interview we did before. And um, I hadn't realized how well Billy came across for being, I suppose, laid back and cool. Um, I, I think 
I suppose for me, um, when Ranjit asked me to do it, because so I, I've always played, I suppose, British characters. And um, when he told me it was a Texan accent, I was a bit, uh, oh, oh, bloody hell, I'm not very good at accents. But Billy didn't have uh, that many lines, because uh, I believe that uh, Sonny had something to do with that. He took all my lines off me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no no I, I i jest um so in a way it, it was it was good for me to try to capture billy with less dialogue with minimal action yeah. um and <clears throat> without without sort of going over the top i think without you know without him being over the top as he, he's just a, an outright killer i wanted it to come across as being very cool, very calm, very collective, very confident. That's yeah. what I wanted to bring to him. He's very confident that he was going to survive. And, you know, if you haven't seen the film, maybe he does survive. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, that, that's nice. 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 That's why I, I, I got the vibe that uh, Billy kind of enjoyed himself a little bit too. You know, like he was just going <laughs> hunting, he yeah. was on the hunt. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, but but I, again, going back to Sonny's character reacting realistically, I was busting up when as soon as Billy showed up, Sonny's like, fuck this. And they just ran upstairs. <laughs> you know? like, just, that's, I don't think anybody would react the same way, you know. Uh, yeah. well, let's, let's keep it going. Well, I think the line. That um, Carl says after Sunday, I'm not going to repeat it on here, let people see it for themselves. But the line that Carl says after Sunday does, he's absolutely perfect. He's just proper serial killer moment. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Uh oh, well, what? You know, obviously, Ranji, what? Ranji, knew, Ranji knew what he wanted from the character. Um, the we we we'd had a, dis a discussion prior to me getting on set. So. Um, you know, I knew where he wanted me to go and what page he wanted me on. So, you know, that really helped. That really helped. So, yeah. Nice, nice. Copy that. Copy that. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. That's Not right. Yes. But let's 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 move it on to the next character here. What? Tickety talk. Tickety talk. Game talk for no one. <laughs> yeah, man. We got Moses. In the house. Oh, this is the psycho. Oh yeah. This uh, now speaking of, we were just talking about Jared Little Joker earlier. <laughs> I think, I think, I think David. Uh, I think you got a shot, brother. Uh, being a Joker, man. Being a Joker. Uh, enjoyed your character in the film as well, of course. Just didn't Thank give you. a fuck. I think. I think my favorite part, not just your monologue, which was all. It's always fun, you know, hearing your monologue. But my favorite part was uh, when. When the uh, the fake Russian comes in, and he starts beating you up, and you're still laughing on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think like, it was in the script. That was it, Angie. I think I just did it. And he's like, "Keep that, keep that." All right, no yeah. problem. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's man. totally insane, isn't he? <laughs> he's fucking cuckoo, man. He's absolutely cuckoo. cuckoo. He's, but, he's a beautiful character, though. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bit different. And I just, like I said uh, this afternoon to you guys, you know, I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to do something just really, really out there. And just, you know, we've, we've, we've worked a long time um, over the past, well, me personally, 11 years to get an opportunity like this where people all around the world are going to see you perform. So I knew that I had to try and do something special and something, you know, pretty original and, you know, just something out there that, people would remember um and that's how it come out so i must be a bit bonkers myself eh because <laughs> it came out of me but yeah i had fun with it i, I really enjoyed doing moses i'd like to see more of him nice nice awesome killed it as usual and uh, let's keep on rocking and rolling here thank you boom what what james oh, in the house <laughs> Now, well, now, this was a very uh, extensive sequence. So, was there a lot of pressure on you, James, to deliver? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, straight to it. No. no pressure. You know, that's me at home anyway. No, no, right. no, no. Um, <laughs> no, uh, Kato, um, when Ranji gave me the script for Kato and um, I looked it over, 
Ranjit had a couple of suggestions of how he wanted uh, the character to be portrayed and, and how he came across. Um, and I just kind of uh, threw it out the window. Um, Laughter. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what? When, when I turned up on set on the day um, and I got into um, I got into the makeup and everything else, it was it was not I don't want to say it was easy to get into that frame of mind, but it, it, it was just taking the dark elements of my inner self and uh, letting that just run wild, um, and then ju just basically letting Kato see where Kato went and how Kato um dealt with the situation so i kind of just stepped out and let him step in almost like a, a um you know a split personality type of thing i just let kato take over and uh what you see is what you get basically so it wasn't wasn't really no pressure um you know i've worked with ranjit for a for a number of years and I, you know and he's, he's not just someone i work with he's he's one of my best friends he's my brother he's family um and uh the, the the thing we're working with ranjit is is that ranjit will give his actors the freedom to express themselves within the boundaries of the story nice. uh, and when an actor has that freedom to do that um you can either go one or two ways it can turn out horribly wrong in which case the director will tell you to do it in a certain particular way or in my case um it went in the way that that Ranji didn't even think of it went up and beyond and you know I, i'm just happy to have the opportunity to be in the film and and you know hopefully i've done ranji uh, justice with the character because i just think he's absolutely fucking nuts i don't even refer to oh, man. you know I, I i don't refer to okay you know he's just a separate entity to me because when i watched it for the first time on, on the screen i was i was scared and that's me up there on the screen so um yeah it's scary man yeah scary. But, well, you, it's, it's... but from the psychotic side of it i mean i've played bad guys before and not as before but kato was just a completely different level to to take and um yeah it was fun to do no nice. training but it was still fun to do and you know it is what it is well you did a fantastic job my friend yeah. Thank you. and you know you know you got to run from a character that's busting out the sausages yeah you know, once you see the sausages it's time to go and that, that was another part of the movie that cracked me up when uh you know hannah and sunny are on the outside look you know kind of peeking in and sunny's like i gotta go help him uh yeah. i think it's too late man like i <laughs> I think it's too late to help the guy that's on the ground. I think it's too late. Uh, but I thought it was interesting, though, that uh, Hannah's character was basically saying uh, that you were you were you were you were one of the early ones that have survived the longest. Yeah. So well, that was at this point, well. it um, kind of makes sense. You snapped. At yeah, this point. yeah. Because I'm, um, I mean, Ranji and Cole and, and David and I, we had a conversation earlier on, and I gave a bit of a backstory to to where he, he uh my character came from i won't give it here because i want people to obviously see the film and I'll let them make up their own minds but um yeah yeah you know be, being one of the early characters of course after i mean he was already nuts and psychotic when he got there and i think um like i you know i assume all the other players like sonny's character were kidnapped and then placed there i think kato would have been one of those characters that would have just gone can i go in please hand on oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. i can uh, uh, totally see that i can totally <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can totally see that for sure he doesn't give a shit about the game he don't know <laughs> that's it he doesn't he doesn't give a shit about the game he doesn't give a shit about anyone you know just just flash. You know, yeah just as long as he can worship his gods and everything he's happy i mean there's a funny thing to um to cater i came up with an idea um just to make him a bit more sick if they could have a certain an, uh, body part that was placed in there and uh ranji had to go and sort out with help and safety and everything else right uh, they was going to go get this fake body part and i says no i i want a real one i want to i'm going to actually be cato in the scene and you know, it's in the film there's a part where i bite into something um yeah <laughs> you know and it's the real thing it's the real deal um which body part was it 
That's Warren. Um, but it was it was um, tasty. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't you know, it Dick? Was it James? Yeah. Which part well, of it? I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting, hu- I'm getting hungry now. I'm getting hungry now. We're talking about sausages. Dude, you're going to get another YouTube strike, man. <laughs> the, only, the only thing I was nervous about was actually working with Sonny uh, when Sonny came in the, in, in the scene. You know, Sonny is a fucking genius at, at what he does. And, you know, and to work with, um, to work with, so, don't do that, Sonny. You're a genius. You have to accept it. Take the compliment. You know, to work, <laughs> to work with someone of that caliber and that style. And, um, you know, I'm not nervous on the film set. I never am. Um, I just throw myself in it and I enjoy it. But with Sonny there, man, I nearly shit my pants. Because <laughs> this guy, this guy's on the next level. And it, uh, and it was an honor for me to work with him so you know once again it's, it's it's a big thank you to to you know to ranjit to johnny to sonny for um giving me that time to work with them you know so i'm, I'm forever grateful awesome copy that copy that all right let's keep rocking and rolling uh the first uh opening fight here uh sonny i really enjoyed this like the pacing the timing uh what, what was the name of the stunt guy that you were fighting in the beginning Francois. That's Thank yeah. You. That guy, yeah, that guy. I'm gonna reach out to that guy soon. Uh, he's a he's another badass. But yeah, right off the bat, I was like, oh shit! All right, we getting down, we getting down and dirty, arm breaking, roundhouse kicking. You know, yeah. let's go. How long did it take to do that fight scene, Sonny? Uh, well, well, that was like the uh, first fight that we actually doing it, and uh, you know, it was kind of like you know he he was supposed to uh, get out of the set around that. I think remember there was seven, but we overran for like, overran like a couple of hours, two hours. Remember, Ranjit? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. Were so supposed to wrap at nine p.m. Yeah, uh, but we ran over by two hours. So two hours, missed, yeah. We missed the train. Yeah, yeah, I missed the train, and uh, and I, I did try to explain to the DP, you know, maybe we need to do this because his death was much more tragic than that. Was, oh. was much more tragic yeah. you should you have seen so okay. we take out some of the parts i say that no take out this part take out this part we keep it that part and that's it you know gotcha, so gotcha. yeah yeah all right it was fun but we took about probably about what five hours to shoot that whole scene about five yeah. hours yeah i mean i agree i think what we should have done was i think we should have let um the action stuff i mean he's the director i kind of know what I'm, i let i let the fight guys do what they want to do by putting my little sense in here and there uh, but i think I, I should have been a bit wiser myself and been like i should have let sunny take over the action sequences right from the beginning because the five hours thing i think we definitely overran it wasn't needed um we could have done it in three um but because we were struggling with a few things and like the dp was missing a few things here and there so we yeah. had to read a lot of stuff and it was just it was time and it was you know it, it was just a lot of things work against us so we had to eliminate, I think, at least twenty-five percent of that fight. And uh, oh, wow. yeah, like, like yeah. Sunny said, the ending was a lot more tragic and it was a lot more brutal. Uh, yeah. What we did with, I think, I think, still works. Um, yeah, still works. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a badass scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but the ending, the ending was definitely a lot more brutal than what it was supposed. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm thinking about the ending of the movie. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. But I got you. I got you into the fight. Yeah. Uh, all right. Is there going to be a special edition with that in it? Ah, uh, <laughs> director's cut. Ah, yes. <laughs> we didn't shoot it. Oh, <laughs> oh no, boo. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> oh, well. if, if I could have a 10 hour version of this movie, I would do it. But yeah, yeah. but we just didn't have the time. And uh, yeah. there was another guy in a podcast, and he's like, exiled what it means, like in his own words, I think uh, James was on the show. He goes, Exile would have had been beneficial to him if it was a, like a HBO miniseries. So we get to spend more time with the character. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you know, it's a pretty cool concept, but you know, when you're talking about serious stuff and you're looking at triple the budget, triple the time. Right. And um, everybody now, all of the actors on the screen, as David said before, now I can't afford them. 
So, told him our price has gone yeah. up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to making uh, just commercials. So I'm not gonna make any YouTube more. movies, Ranjit. YouTube, YouTube movies. Out, yeah, uh, Ranjit, I'm, I just sent you an email. I'm charging you for this too, as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I could see that as a series, of course. But but this is a battle royale movie. Yeah, yeah. that's the point. That's the point. Yeah. You know? So so it, it still works. All right. It what? works though. In sorry, just quickly. No, go ahead. That, that's a good thing because people want more. Yeah. 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 Well, that was it. I mean, like I said, I said, I said on the live stream earlier, a couple of hours ago. I was like, look, I go. There's a reason I never get. I never gave the characters a beginning and an end. We go right into the middle of the characters' story, and you know, we get introduced to them just as they are. I, I don't. I don't need to have a build up of the characters. The only build up of the character that we, that we kind of have is of Sunny. And that's because he's the lead, right? Yeah. You know that he's coming to the game. He remembers waking up into this game. You know, we get a slight backstory to him. And we know about this whole virus taking place. So we kind of know everybody's in the fucking fucked up place for a reason. But I, I felt like it wasn't necessary for me to go individually into each character and give them where they came from, where they're going. It just wasn't needed. You just dive into where they are in the current situation. Well, it's like what I said earlier on when we was talking. Um, it's kind of like a, a bunch of uh, short stories um, put together. So you do get um, a, a glimpse of what people are like. It's like um, I was talking about Craig Edwards scene earlier on. Um, and there was a lot of information in that small scene, but it wasn't overdone. You know, it was just right. And, and, and from there, you could see what, what type of person he is, what his background was. So it, it still did work to an extent. But the whole film, the, 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 the whole film it moves with such pace and, and, and um, the storyline of all the different characters, because each character stands out to me. Each character fucking brings the next scene up and up and up, and you just, you know, you just want more. I mean, I've had people contact me talking about, you know, is there going to be a number two? Is there going to be this? What uh, is this character? This, you know, that the on a lot of films that I've watched um, and I've seen the sequel to. So I'm telling you now, there's a lot of films I'm not impressed with sequels. I've never been a sequels fan. I, I, I kind of think sequels kind of bring the tone down. They're never as good. That's why. No. Yeah. Well, that's true. But I except think, in the rare case. Yeah. 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 But I think. Um, with the case of Exile, because so many people have said that they'd love to see a part two, it's obvious that this film is killing it. It's, it's, it's kicking it all the way to the freaking stratosphere, man. You know, I mean, it's that well made and 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 and, and that presented in, in in such a way that even people who aren't martial arts or action film fans and horror film fans, I, I know a few of them, have actually sat there. And watched the whole thing and rooted for certain characters. Nice. And uh, so you know that that's not only a testament to us guys as actors. You know that's a testament to to Ranjit and the production team, the story, everything. You know, Sonny's choreography throughout the film with Nick. I mean, it's, it's just bang on. You know, yeah. and um, you know it doesn't need to be a Hollywood film. It doesn't need to be made by Steven no, Spielberg. Spoil it. You know, and, 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 and all that it doesn't because with Ranjit, Ranjit is a consummate professional. This guy sleeps, breathes, eats filmmaking. You know, he, he was born to do this. He's a god to me. Ranjit's a god. When he, when oh my goodness! To, oh my god! You know, um, and so you I, weren't worse. So your character wasn't worshiping the beast in the movie, you were worshiping Ranjit. No, worshiping Ranjit, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ranjit, crazy you know, Ranjit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, if you look at the caliber of actors in there, you got Dave, you got Warren, you got Carl. You know, these guys just fucking kill it every time. These guys, oh, yeah. you know, they're monsters in, in in this. So, you know, it's like Carl, for example. I've, I've I've been in the same movies as Carl, but we've never actually worked together. So we're going to change that, aren't we, Ranch? We are, yeah. We and then, nice. Make and it then one of my other favourite people is 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 my grandson. You know. Hey. 
we got the honour to work together on, on Dig Me No Grave, and that's a completely different story. But I just that want was... to say something quick about that as well, that, you know, working with Warren on that and then Ranjit, because Ranjit really pushed us to our limits on that. You know, he, yeah. he, he, he got the motherfucking best out of us on that. And it was because, me, I, I, you know, I fell in love with Warren. You know, he's fucking family now forever and ever and ever. We are. I love fantastic. you. I love you too, bro. It was such <laughs> a room, working, <laughs> it was such <laughs> a working experience with him. You know, we, you know, I could start a sentence. Warren could finish it. It, it was like that. So, hmm. you know, once again, that's testament to Ranjit because he brings the right people in. He knows what people will gel. You know, first and foremost, because if the actors aren't gelling, the film is just going to look shit. I don't care what the film is, who's doing it, who's in it, it's going to look yeah. shit. And mm -hmm. with each and every one of these guys, you know, you, you've 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 got a bunch of guys a click, if you like, that that will always working together will always make magic, always make no. magic. And no, man, I mean, to that, brother. It's that thing that I go back to, I mean, there's a reason why Scorsese and DiCaprio work together all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah, It's a thing where Scorsese and De Niro work together all yep. the time. It's Tarantino and Sam Jackson working together all the time. There's, mm -hmm. You have to go to people that you know are just going to deliver every time. right? Yeah. And, and for me, that's, it's always been the people that you see on the screen now. And, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I, apart from the fake Russian, this is why I got everybody here. Because these guys, like... These guys are essentially my clique. Like I've worked with these guys for over a decade, right? I I, I shot a short film with Carl back in the day, where he plays Judas, the guy that betrays Jesus. I had James playing Moses. I had um, David playing uh, some like Italian mob gangster guy. <laughs> I had Warren playing a homosexual serial killer, right? And, and I had. I saw that. <laughs> And, I, and the first time working with what Sonny. What was it with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was good. I like that. I would have liked to have seen that as a feature. Warren is fucking nuts, man. I'd have liked to see that as a feature. <laughs> What's it called? I don't know nothing about it, Ranji. <laughs> yeah, the, the reason you don't know anything about it is because... You didn't release it? No, I released it. And, uh, you released it and then hid it. <laughs> I released it, hid it, and then see my private collection. <laughs> it got brought Send that. it to me. I want to see it. That it was on Crime Watch. That's why. On oh, I, oh, before I forget, you know, the, the, the other person. I mean, it's like um, when I worked with Dave on, on, on Rupture, and, you know, fucking hell. There's one particular scene that we did in this uh, yeah, nightclub or something. We were sitting around the table. Yeah, you know, the second Dave started doing his lines, I mean, apart from laughing my tits off, and, and so was fucking Nick and everyone else, Dave just fucking went stratospheric with the scene. He was absolutely fucking awesome, and we got on oh, so thank well. You, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, once again, you too, man. You too, man. <laughs> Brilliant in everything. Well, I can't wait room. to see some uh, Get a room. Rupture, man. Get a room, yeah. Come on, James. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss. I just, I just love you. All. <laughs> and there was another thing as well, you know, like 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 Sonny's in my art, not just because I'm, I'm a fan of his, but Sonny says something to me once. I'm not going to repeat it. Um, but he says something to me once. Fucking had me in tears, man. You know, he had me in tears. So, you know, I'm going to always have that respect. He uh, said you should. <laughs> Why can't tell everyone that? <laughs> That's it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, yeah, th these guys, it's, it's fucking, oh man, I, you know, I'm an actor by trade and I love making movies and stuff and everything else. But, you know, Ranjit will tell you, I will turn down a project and I don't care what it is. If Ranjit says, I got a role for you, because I don't care how big or how small the role is. I just know that when I get on that set, it's fucking game on, and I'm going to have the best day of my life. So, yeah. you know, you it's creative freedom, isn't go. it, James? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And that's quite rare. You know, he just lets us do our thing <laughs> and just crack on, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, but, you know, oh, so go ahead. What? What's up? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, back to the movie here. This is my second favorite fight in the film, man. Nick going up. Uh, the, 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 the martial artist stuntman actor, he's fighting Ranji. What's his name? His name is Imar Alexander. 
yeah, yeah. badass badass this is a great yeah. fight Sonny, yeah. were you present for this to, to help out with this? Yeah, the beginning of the uh, opening scene of this fight, because I said that, you know, the, initially they were just both meet at the corridor and charge at each other, if I'm not wrong. So I said, no, no, no. Why not you just make Alex just finish killing someone, walk out from the room, and um, Nick was just walking towards him, and everybody freezes, and they both stare at each other, and they start charging at each other. You know, just like, it's just like, you know, out of a sudden, things happen, you know. I, I don't want to like, I, I just tell them that don't make it like too predictable, make it a little bit of a present surprise, you know. Yeah. As Nick just minding your own business, just walk in the corridor, and somebody just walk, walk out cleaning his axe and just freeze. And somebody just looking at each other and turn around and start fighting, you know? and then yeah. and straight up chaos. Yeah, I yes, love it this is. fight. This is one of my favorite yeah. fights. Sure. It's one of mine, it's a proper brutal. Uh... Uh, shinding that is i mean fuck, you know i've watched that over like you know you watch it rewind watch it rewind yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh sunny, sunny giving his uh his prep talk to the guys and then the camera guys in in, in the ceiling oh check that out that's awesome yeah. that's awesome yeah. see that's why i got you here Ranji. get the behind the scenes scoop <laughs> love it i love it i love it but yeah that fight it's my second favorite fight in the film i, I love it uh, for sure, but yeah, let's keep going. We got to get to Warren here, man. Everybody's talking, <laughs> but we got we didn't forget about you, brother. We didn't forget about you, man. No, uh, right. I'm War cool. Warren, I'm just loving listening. Your character in this film, I want you. I want you to let me let us know. Was he actually a good dude? Was he a nice guy just caught in a bad situation? I, I or think, was there, or was there something else? He was I feel. To cook up? I feel like with him, he's been put there because he's done something wrong. Right. But in his head, he is a good guy. He he's 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 been put there by accident in his head. What he's done doesn't deserve him being there, you know. Um yeah. in his life in general, he's always been you know, it's it's all it's that sort of catch where you make one bad mistake and it hinders you for the rest of your life sort of thing. Um but he uh, also, like, I sort of, I turned up to the set. One one massive thing for me was I turned up to the set. I looked around. I saw all these all these weird and wonderful characters that were coming out and different looks and different, I mean, there, there was sort of a, a wardrobe section there and it had all the different costumes and props and all that sort of thing there. And I was looking around and going, it's just full of nut jobs. It's full of <laughs> fucking psycho. Do you know what I mean? And I, I knew James was in it, so I was like, well, He's gonna be one. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it was, and I just, I kind of just thought to myself. Um, I thought, I don't know. It, uh, it needs to be a little bit more real. You know, mm -hmm. someone that you can you bump into on the street. Right, right. You, you went to school with or whatever, but he's been put in this crazy environment, and he's like, what the fuck is going on do you know what i mean like like what you said about what sunny he's just very much he's, he has a very fast realization of of where he is and and what's going on and he's just one thing that's going through my head when we were filming it is i'm never going to get out of this but i've got to try you know yeah the character jake he's i'm, ne I'm never going to get out of this but ha ha there's got to be a way there's always a way you know yeah. and um yeah, I, I felt mean, I, I I got a I got a vibe from you that your character uh, was it was actually kind of a good guy in a way, especially when you were trying to help this other guy, this other this poor guy on the left here. <laughs> What's his name of uh, the actor, Ranji? Theodore. 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 Yeah. Uh, shout out to Theodore. Uh, but yeah, man, um, great performance from both of you guys, man. Uh, great job, Warren. Very good. I really enjoyed your performance. But Ranji, bro. This scene right here, I can't, I can't show the rest of it, <laughs> but the carnage is below Nick. Yeah. This scene right here really, I mean, really kind of showed the character of Igor. Yeah. You know, because you get bits of, of him just kind of enjoying what he does, you know, yeah. basically being the Terminator. But this scene stood out not just be, more to me, not just because of its brutality, but I love the fact that you had no music. Yeah, that that was a, a choice I I made 
purposely. The composer, he was like, so I want to do this, so this. I'm like, no, nope, don't do it. I don't want it. And he goes, yeah, but it's just quiet. I was like, yeah, but think about the scene. Mm -hmm. I go, we go from a completely white room, right? Almost a room, like it's, it's a white box room. You can call it an innocent room if you want. But by the time Nick's finished, it's not such an innocent room. Mm -hmm. We don't need music in that scene. Yeah. And I remember Sonny and I had this conversation because Sonny was there during the stage. And Sonny was like, we should do a close up of, of Theodore, you know, and, you know, to get some reaction shots. I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, Sonny's not wrong in what he's saying. But I feel like taking away from what's happening, it would change the context of the scene slightly. And I was like, let's just keep it as a complete one shot. And I was like, let's film it and let's just see how it goes. If it doesn't work, mm -hmm. you know, you know, we're not we manipulate. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let's just do it. And then we did it three, four times, and I was just watching it every time. And I was like, people are going to get offended by the scene. <laughs> and to be honest, not me. Honest, not me. I was, I was <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. When, and, when that was being filmed, I was literally there. Yeah. And, um, I was told about what was going on with the scene, but yeah. the whole crew were taken to like the other side of the room that weren't, that weren't needed. Because yeah, yeah. in the case of, I mean, as we've discussed, my character's a bit of a nice guy, so he wouldn't want to see that. But <laughs> but no, it was a case of Ranjit just wanted it to be very minimal crew, minimal. It wanted to, he wanted it to be. He had his vision on it, um, and I'm glad I didn't see it because now that I've seen it, it's more of a shock. Because I think yeah, it's quite, in the room. It's quite brutal, isn't it? It's, it's, I, I think it's the most brutal scene in the in in the uh, in the movie. It's, it's just the slaughter, and um, yeah. you know it. it, it Without giving too much away, made me think about my kids because of Theo's character, you know, mm -hmm. and it and it was really really difficult to watch. I mean, I love the scene; I think it's absolutely fantastic. But it it shows what Nick's character is right. really really all mm -hmm. about. And the, the thing the thing that well, I've ever seen when we were filming the scene, the DOP, you know, he just he wasn't nailing what I wanted initially. Yeah. And I had to kind of get a bit annoyed with him. And I'm like, these guys know me like very well. I, I'm not an angry person. I, like, I, I try to have a very good vibe all the time. But but when someone's not listening to me, yeah, and it's like, you know, I'm trying to make a statement into what I'm trying to say. And I was like, dude, I go. And like, I love my DP. Like, we fucking argue all the time. So he's not going to mind me saying this, but. I was like, dude, I was like, cut your shit. Like, this is what I want. Just give it to me. Right, yeah? right, right. And he was like, oh, okay, let's do it. I was like, don't give it a fucking attitude. Let's just do it. Right, right, right. So we did it. And then I remember when we did it, I sat back in my chair and I was like, <sighs> it was a very hard scene. Like, there were no, there were no VFX or nothing in the scene. It was right. just, right? <clears throat> And he did the scene, and then Nick came out of character. He snapped back into character, and he looked at and he looked at me, and it was almost like he was in a trance. And I was like, "Dude, I, was like, I, I held. I remember holding him. I was like, dude, are you okay?" He was like, "That was hard." And I was like, "Good. Now you got to do it another four times." <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he did it. And I remember the take that we kept was the first take, and. Uh, Oh wow! Yeah, I right. kept the first take, and we just like, obviously the more and more you do a scene, the less the actor kind of is enthusiastic about it and stuff. But right, right. So we did it on the first. So I kept the first take, and I remember Nick, and it shows in the final product. And you know, just the whole, the whole bit of where Theo runs into the room, he's around like, "Where the fuck am I?" And then Nick's character appears, and then the rest proceeds, and it was just, it was just a very a very animalistic approach to yeah. shooting the scene, but also in the way that the characters give the performance. And right. you know, like, like again, like Nick was supposed to have a lot of dialogue in that scene, but I'm kind of looking at him. I'm kind of glad he didn't. Right. Yeah. 
So the moral the moral of the story is uh, Ranjit's in charge, and if you don't listen to Ranjit, uh, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Okay. He sets his he sets his fiance on you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Charms. Uh, uh, but yeah, Love I mean, you, Charm. I mean uh, uh, that that sequence I I I enjoyed because, like I said, I was like, "Ooh, there's no music." Ooh, the camera's slowly kind of moving back a little bit, and I was just like, "Oh, we're doing something different here." So I liked it. I liked it. So I know it might be too much for some people, but you know, Samurai guy's hardcore. That's kind of well, how I well, roll. <laughs> so. I knew that it was gonna be, you know, something we're not gonna like. It was definitely gonna be a not playing thing for a lot of people, yeah, um, because it is almost it is like taking a lamb to a slaughter, right? Right. right, right. You take such an innocent thing, and then you just go and. I Nick likes to use the word violate it. And, <laughs> and uh, that essentially is the scene. And it's, yeah. it's, it's a complete fucking shit show of a scene because right. it's, it's just. It's the Badlands. It's the <laughs> motherfucking Badlands. Okay. That's right. Shit, horrible shit happens. All right. Let's keep yeah, going yeah. here. All right. So I'm going to bounce around here with some quick photos and then we'll, we'll get towards the end here. But yeah, uh, things I enjoyed. Uh, German suplex through a table came out, <laughs> came out of nowhere. I was Tori. like, what? What? <laughs> German suplex through a table? So, so, so the lady in there, Tori Nussel, she's actually a professional wrestler. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so, awesome. Uh, so okay. She's, on, she's on an independent circuit. Okay, um, okay. So she was brought in to do some stuff. And then yeah. we were like, what's your specialty? She goes, well, my finish is a suplex. All I have fucking great. Let's use a that suplex. Was, I was not <laughs> expecting that at all. <laughs> And uh, going back to uh, Warren's character, uh, you know, kind of being the guy, there is a good side to his character. He's trying to help. The complete opposite of Warren is this character on the right here. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. like the complete opposite, man. Yeah, Craig Edwards. I like the fake out, though. I yeah. like the fake out dialogue where he's just like, you know, he's talking nice. The other guy's kind of got, trying to give him some religious advice, trying to help him out. And then at the end, he gets he, he he doesn't necessarily insult him, but the guy on the right takes it as an insult, and it doesn't bode well uh, for our for yeah. our gentleman on the left. So that was interesting. Did that was that a was that written in that whole dialogue? Was that written? Yeah, in the script? yeah. So, so they perform exactly how I wanted it. And I just I just sorry, just looking at that scene. I remember your your commentary in the trailer. They killed Herschel. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot I forgot about that. Well, wow. yeah. And, yeah, they, they performed exactly how I, I'd wanted it, uh, especially Craig. Like, Craig's like, I've known Craig for a very long time. And he, yeah. he performed it very well, better than I expected. A great can, performance, Grand G. I, wa I want to give you guys an insight into what that dialogue is and where it's from. It's not, it's not a rip-off from anywhere, but it's like, I don't know if I should, though. It's, it's a, no, 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 don't say, don't I'll, ruin it. <laughs> all right, all right. Tell me later. Tell me I'll later. Tell you later. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, again, not surprised that this shit's happening. And we got some people that are like, fuck it. I'm just going to take myself out. <laughs> Screw this. We've got a grenade here blast. Uh, so, you know, this is not surprising too uh, because it's the Badlands. I was actually surprised with this scene though. Uh, this guy thought he was safe. He got out of the Badlands. Yeah. And uh, it didn't bode well for him. So you can't even technically escape, even if we think you're, you, you know, get away from the snipers. Yeah. You get outside, you still, you still not stay, uh, safe. You're com coming after you. Is that Nick dressed up in the mask? Uh, no comment. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's Ranjit. Okay. We'll <laughs> um. Oh, here's here's another one that really surprised me. So back and forth throughout the film, Sonny's character and Hannah. They were talking back and forth. They're mentioning about the the first contestant, you know, yeah. and that kind of blew my mind. I was like, "What? Uh, the, the, the first contestant that survived uh, says they're three hundred and two days survived so far and has actually one kill uh, is a is a child." I was yeah. like, "Whoa!" It's my little brother. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Shout out. That's right. Shout out to the Marwa family, man. That's how we do it. Uh, but yeah, that kind of to ever catch him. <laughs> the, did, was this in the script too, or was this kind of a last minute 
just no, for it's fun. Uh, script, like, like I, I, I know where his plan for that to be. Player one. Um, yeah. There was a movie that I don't, I don't really give as a reference as much as I probably should. There's an old school movie called Cube. Oh yeah, um, fantastic film. And um, there's a player one in there, and it's not the person that you think it is. And so I kind of wanted to have that kind of gotcha where, where there's a, a character that we don't really know about and it's there in the background. And yeah. that was what I wanted. There, there was a backstory to his character as well, uh, which I obviously haven't elaborated on in the movie. And maybe if we get to the part two, we'll probably will. But, um, but he was essentially, I guess I can give it away, uh, he's essentially born into the Badlands. Okay. And, um, oh, oh, wow. Okay. And, and there, is, there is a conversation that happens between Hannah and Sonny, uh, which happens with James as well. And Hannah refers to something. Um, and that is in connection to that. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, that fits now. Yeah. All right. All right. Ooh. Copy that. Yeah. All right, now let's go ahead and Not fast just a forward. pretty face, are you, Ranji? <laughs> <laughs> Clever boy. Ranji, Ranji, you're modeling with Sonny, man. You guys are both modeling. <laughs> <Yeah. Let's go. laughs> <laughs> um, but now I got to go to my man, Sonny. Yo. Yo. Ah. Favorite fight of the film. And a good director and filmmaker knows especially an action director. You always save the best for last. This goes back to classic old school Shaw Brothers Golden Harvest martial arts movies, okay? You want to reward the audience. Yes. So every fight is always better than the one before it. And uh, I definitely got that vibe uh, for, the, for this film as well. For this fight was badass, brutal, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give it to you guys, man. You guys killed it, nailed it, and Ranjit, you fucking filmed the fight perfectly. Thank God. That was helpful, that's, to you, man. Yeah. Um, yes, and Sonny, uh, you know, thank, thank God for both of you guys uh, making it happen because I was like, okay, how many times on this channel have I complained and bitched about fight scenes getting fucked up? The camera guy doesn't know how to shoot it. The director doesn't know how to direct it. And then, and then when you actually create a really good fight, it gets butchered in the, in the editing process. Mm. You know, and I always bitch. I'm, I, I don't hold back. That here happens a lot. On the, on the, yeah, I don't. I don't hold back here on the channel. My my audience knows that. That's one of my pet peeves. And I was so happy uh, with the fights and how they were shot in the film and edited, and uh, especially the climax here. And it's just fucking brutal. I mean, look at this. There's a little taste. Of the brutality there. I mean, it, this is just this is nothing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's proper. Uh, but, uh, it? it's, it's proper. I mean, it, it, it looks like the, the the real fucking deal. I thought, you know, these guys are kicking the shit out yeah. of each other with style. You know, yeah. It's yeah. Fucking yeah. there were a lot of sore nipples at the end of this one. <laughs> <right? laughs> but uh uh Sonny, how long did it take you to, to do the finale? Um, well, through, through all the discussions that we had uh, with me, Nick, uh, and uh, Ranjit, uh, I was calculating what, what, what needs to be done. And I uh, also looked through the, uh, the choreography from uh, Nick as well. So, you know, I was just having, like, you know, thoughts about it. And I probably come out and say that we probably need two days for, for this. We tried to nail every single scene and what kind of shots you... You know, then I spoke to the DP as well. You got to keep up with my speed, man. You know, this is the angle. This is what I want. This is what, what we, where we're going and yeah. how we're going to see the whole thing and what kind of impact shots that I need to see. If you got two cameras, they'll be good. But if not, <coughs> I need you to focus on this and this and this. So Ranjit is just looking at the DP, just like, yeah, yeah, just look and just, just let, let, let me do the job. You know, it's just, just like, you know. So, but at the end of it, uh, we got what, what we need. Uh, into in, in, into ed edit, so I think that Ranji knows the style of what I'm what what I'm shooting at and what I'm what we we're looking at. So when it comes to edit, everything put together, I think uh, you know that that's good. You know, so yeah, because it's just like because I'm being trained by the uh, Hong Kong stunt director, my late Sifu, uh, who actually trained me. So usually we work very fast. At the same time, we, we know the move is, is this way. 
and then we'll just see frames inside our head where do this camera go to you know where do we need to be in, need to see whether is it me or nick you know how do we go about doing doing this whole scene you know how many shots do we need so i also understand the the, the audience what in, in into perspective that what the audience would like to see what kind of impact what kind of uh, what kind of style how come how brutal uh brutal would it get and all this and that so yeah that 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 is how i i worked so without anything at all we, without any any problems at all so we get to it uh very nicely and two days was the benchmark and we hit the hit the jet part in two days we done for the shoot wow, wow. yeah yeah so that's Fantastic. how the way i work and it works yeah and some of the parts that you see the, with the weapons and uh with nick right so that I, I just don't want to do uh give any spoiler remember there were certain weapon was very close to me if mm -hmm. you guys watched the movie right yeah uh, that was uh I, I told ranji let's do this you know so i said uh, look look exactly like like it's it's gonna it's gonna clean me off but then again you know i, I managed to escape it so it, it works so yeah yeah, yeah just phenomenal phenomenal fight ranji yeah. i love how you uh again how you filmed it and you had perfect camera angles you had an above shot was great but it was just brutal man kicking people through <laughs> walls slicing the reaction to and that's another thing is really important uh is uh, as my buddy rick myers always says is not just the it's not just the fight choreography it's how the opponents react to mm -hmm. the action yeah. it's yeah. just as important uh it to it um but so yeah phenomenal way to uh to to end the movie there and um, i have to do this ranji do it man I told, I told you i had a few pet peeves i have to do this okay hold on all right right now guys you can watch exile amazon prime baby that's right blood soaked bone crunch in action right now and the reason why i'm showing this now is i'm about to give some big spoilers right now because i can't hold back anymore <laughs> so you have been warned you have been warned all right so hey if you don't want spoilers all right, go watch the movie, enjoy it, buy it, stream it, have fun with it, enjoy it. But if you want to hang out, I got, I have to, I have to talk about this. Okay, now Ranji, if I knew that I was going to react this way, I would have did, a, I would have did a goddamn reaction video. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to react this way. Shit. So I'm sitting here, uh, watching it right here with the, you know, my, my, my lady, lady Fat Blood. And we're hanging out watching it. And keep in mind <laughs> how I react to what I'm about to talk about. Lady Fat Blood over here is laughing hysterically. She's laughing at me because she knows me and she knows I'm suffering. And I'm going to talk about it right here. I'm going to talk about, about the, the major spoiler right here. So, so after this amazing badass fight, I, I, I absolutely loved it. Five stars. Five stars right there from the Samurai guy. Then all of a sudden, we are introduced to the cyborg the hybrid the prototype gets unleashed that's right and uh this badass comes out he gets unleashed because now it's like you know we can't we can't have a winner all right the people that are in charge of the game they make the call we cannot have a winner we gotta we gotta unleash the prototype okay so he comes out there and i'm like oh shit because at this point ranjit i thought the movie was over i was like okay he kills nick uh, he's the winner. All right. Awesome. Okay. I thought it was over. And I'm like, wait, we're still going. Like, I thought the, I thought the movies, I thought the movie was over. We're still going. All right. Oh, like, holy shit. And then out of nowhere, right next to Sonny, Nick rises up. <laughs> I was like, and I'm sitting over here like, oh shit. Oh shit. We're going to get a two on one fight. Oh shit. Ranji's going to cut it. Fuck. He's going to cut it right here. Go to credits. He's gonna cut it right here. He's gonna torture Samurai guys. He's gonna torture me. He's gonna go to credits. I was already fucking losing it, right? Like already. Like I was like, oh shit, Nick, we're gonna two on one fight. Nick's up. They look at each other. They give each other the eyes. They're like, all right, we're gonna fuck this cyborg predator up. And so I'm already losing it. And of course, you go to credits, and I'm over here yelling. God damn you, Ranchi. <laughs> like I'm over here losing it, man. And then it gets better. It gets better. Oh, I let the I let the credits roll. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh no, there's more. 
There's more fucking my brother from another mother, white boy Bobby himself, Zach Lee, shows up. And then wait, we got a we got a real, the real hybrid prototype is being discussed. And then you show me this, bro. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You're fucking kidding. You're torturing me, Ranjit. God damn it. I was cursing you, Ranjit. <laughs> watching the TV. I was like, you bastard. You bastard torturing me like this. Because I completely forgot about any talk we did because that was like a year ago about yeah. you know the chances of, a, of an exile too. Yeah. And I was losing my goddamn mind. So there, I have it off my chest. I still love the movie. I still love the movie, but I was losing it. I was like, God damn you, God damn you. Yeah. So there you go. You well, I love, love the you want it more, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. So now I, you gotta make a second one, man. I have to give credit where it's due. That ending uh, with Sonny and Nick was discussed twenty four hours before rap. Yeah. And Wow, Shams was the one that came up with that idea. Oh, otherwise, perfect. otherwise it's fucking perfect. Shout I'd out to Shams. I'd written the script. I'd written the script initially. The hybrid and Sunny run at each other, and then it cuts. Right, right, right. right. That's how it, I'd written it initially. Okay. But then Shaman was like, "Fuck that!" She goes, "Have Sunny say, bring it on." Yeah, and then Nick rises, and I was like. That's perfect ending. Yeah. Right, let's do it. So then literally I, I spoke to Nick the same night. Nick started crying because he was like, my character's not dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I remember telling Sonny, and Sonny was like, fuck, I got to deal with a whole nother movie of fake Russian. <laughs> <laughs> you know what oh, it reminded man. me of, Ranji? It reminded me of, do you know, my dad, I grew up on the old black and white serials, right? What my dad used to watch in the, in the like, you know, the 30s, 40s, stuff like that. And they always ended on a cliffhanger. And yeah. that ending put me right back in that zone, right back in that zone of yeah. where those type of serials that used to come on every Saturday morning, yeah. the, the pictures all them years and years ago. Yeah. Um, it really, really, really reminded me of that. I thought it was a beautiful touch, man. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Ending. To entice the audience to want more, it was a masterstroke. That's what yeah. I want to do, man. I mean, like, Sonny and I discussed right from the beginning of the movie, I wanted to make the movie like um, Maze Runner, which was like, first Maze Runner is like, it's confined in the maze, and that's yeah. what I can and then Maze Runner 2 is in the city, Maze Runner 3 is in the, in the globe. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with Exile. I was able to contain the first movie in the building, and it's just live streamed, and it's a small thing. It's a government experiment. Let's see what happens. And then the government realized that they're fucked up, and now we need to kind of expand what we're doing. And, and that was the whole reason of introducing Zach Lee's character. And as... The, he is the proper villain of the movie, which we don't get to see yet. Um, then, obviously, I don't know if you can see right at the end of the movie, uh, Preston, there was another little Marvel spoiler at the end. Um, oh, yes, yes. I, James I won't say comes anything. out with his sausages oh, again. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I the whole un Undertaker setup. <laughs> yeah. I, was it. Yeah. I love it. I want. I definitely do want to expand on the world, just like the way the rate was. The first rate movie was in a building. The second one was in the city. And um, you know, like, like I, I, I'm not shy to talk about this. The movie was heavily inspired by the raid. And you know, I think anybody that has seen the raid, they'll see that a lot of my influences are from there. And yeah. and you know, I pull Gareth to his face. That thank you for inspiring Exile. Um, and quotes all over, all over the poster, you know. So, like the the only proper action director that we have here in the UK is Gareth. And you know, I'm fortunate to have known to know him and to roll in the same circles as him. Uh, and you know, I have to give my hats off to Gareth because he was the source of my inspiration from mm -hmm. day one since watching the raid. You know, and the raid two gangs of London. All the other bunch of movies, because Havoc coming out with Sunny. So it used yeah, to, Havoc, you know, baby. Woohoo! You know, like I have to give, you know, to that Welsh gentleman, Mister Gareth. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. he, he he is a legend for sure, changing the game yeah. 
Yeah, I can't wait for Havoc. Uh, it's still coming out. What was there a release date, Sonny, yet? Uh, no, uh, okay. it changes to 2023. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's all good. No. So talking about talking about release dates, I, I said to you guys at the beginning of the show, I would give some more information. Yeah. So I can confirm that I will give a date later on on social media, but I can confirm that the movie will be streaming on Tubi. Oh, all right. This month in the, uh, the US, Canada, Mexico, New Zealand, and Australia. Nice. nice. Hey, hey. Is, yeah, that baby. That is happening this month. Uh, Wicked. Within the next two weeks. Oh, that's what I'm talking well, about. Well done, Ranji. Thank oi, you. Oi. And it's funny. It's funny. I was just, uh, I interviewed some badasses yesterday, the Gear Brothers. <laughs> From uh, their upcoming horror flick, The Retaliators, coming out, and we were just we were just gloating how much we love Tubi. It's like the best streaming service, <laughs> you know. It's just great. So that's awesome. Exile is going to be on Tubi. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Uh, phenomenal job, everyone. Uh, Thank you. you know, Thank we, you. Need to, we need to see more uh, Warren. We need to see more Carl and future projects for sure. And we all know James and David. They're gonna kill it. They're gonna kill it. Any future projects. And Samurai guy is yeah. going to be there. Showing thank support. you, Preston. That's we love right. your support, man. And we love yeah. coming on your show. You're amazing. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having thank us. You. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will, to be fair, you're going to see a bit more of me and Billy the Butcher in um, Dig Me No Grave. There's All right. That's in that. Um, nice. That's, nice. That's next nice. year, isn't it, Ranjit, that people will be seeing that. That's next year, man, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That, hell yeah. That, that, that there is a hell of a movie in itself. Just had to show yeah. this shot really quick. Uh, look at all these bad oh, actors, hey! That's right. Making the magic happen, baby. That's right. That's what it's all about. Uh, go ahead, James. Yeah, um, Dig Me No Grave. Um, I know we're here to talk about Exile, but um, Dig Me No Grave, that's going to be... Uh, th that's really going to knock some people's socks off. They're not going to fucking realize what this is. This nice. film is... Um, especially with just the performances throughout it, it's... it's you know, people are going to flock to see this, you know, um, like Warren's character. Fucking you know, the transformation his character goes through. <clears throat> he's going to have, you know, everyone and his dog fucking rooting for him all the way through. But it's just his performances alone, you know, is, is, is fucking Oscar style. Oh, you know, mate. Like, me? Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, mate. I was, yeah, right. I was badass, mate. No, oh, honestly. He's, he's, he's setting me up for a fail. It's him. <laughs> no, he's him. He's he's him. He, you were badass, mate. It. No, you were badass, mate. You were fucking... I'll tell you what. You, you fucking killed it. You killed it in that film. And what you had to go through as well, especially with me. So... <laughs> <laughs> I dread to think what that was. <laughs> Yeah, that's well, James, James, keep us keep us in the loop, James, of when that's coming out. I definitely will. And don't forget Rupture, Preston. We've got Rupture oh. coming out towards the end of the year, right, Ranji? Yeah, Rupture. We're gonna watch. I'm gonna watch it, and we're gonna do another panel just like this, baby. Uh, right. Rupture and Digman or Grave, uh, they've been shelved. Thank <laughs> 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 oh God for that. <laughs> you just gave everyone a heart attack, Ranji. You pulled the back girl. I know. You pulled the back, you pulled the back girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Well, this was a blast. Uh, Sonny, we love you. You're a legend. You. And everybody here, hey, you guys know. You guys already know this is your second home. This is your second home. Yeah. Yeah. Very uh, back. Thank Anytime, you. Anytime. Let's support you, you know. Get, talk about your future projects. Mm -hmm. Let's get Preston. Make it we happen. need to do that. Preston, we need to do that. Kurt Russell Soldier show. Oh yeah, we need to talk about that. Remember movie. we talked yeah. about a while ago. That's yeah, just, yeah. Just uh, let yeah, me know. Yeah, lots to discuss in that. Movie. Yeah, yeah. That'll be fun to talk about. Kurt Russell Soldier. Rambo in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rambo in space, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> well, definitely. Ranji. I'll hit you up. Well, I'd love to come on and chat about that. You what, Sonny? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, oh. Ranji, want to yeah. talk about? Uh, Exile 2? Yes. Oh. Electric Boogaloo. Oh, <laughs> it's electric uh, Boogaloo. You, yeah. hear it, you can't deny them. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, we are actually going to start talking on Exile 2. Oh, my God. And, uh, well, 
there's going to be a lot of action as well. Oh, a lot of uh, I'm so happy. Some right of the now. characters will be coming back, as what Ranjit has told me. Nice. And uh, the action will be, well, basically, I'm do. Uh, I will be coming back to help up all the actions as well. Oh, I'm so, so, my, I'm so happy right now. My team, boys and girls, will be coming down and help. Oh, out. yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Ronin goes nice. Yes, there Hell we yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Ronin team, man. Oh, I, you just oh, made my day. Filming, is this going to be filmed in a hot country? So, <laughs> no, what I can, no. what I can speak about is, Exiled will be going back to basics and filming in my mom and dad's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all no. those nutters in there, mate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get some footage, won't you? <laughs> Exile Two is happening. Uh, Woo! When? Oh. When? I can't say just yet. Okay. But there will, there will be some returning characters, which everybody will be familiar with by yes. the time of the movie, and there will be some very, very familiar faces from other films people have seen. Um, I have spoken to them already. Uh, and they have all agreed to be in the movie, so Hell yeah, I won't give any spoilers just yet. I'll okay. I'll let everybody know soon. Uh, okay. Maybe we can talk off camera, but um, I will let everybody know soon. Okay, okay, awesome. I, I'm so happy you Ooh. you, you and Sunny have made me a happy man. You <laughs> saw my re you heard my reenactment of my reaction, right? <laughs> I was screaming over here. My voice is almost gone. Okay, because I'm like. Eh. Like, I want more. All right. <laughs> we all so, want more. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, yes. Well done, yes. Ranji. Perfect yeah. way to end the stream. And the end what the an amazing bit so of news. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for sharing that that inside scoop we get on here on the Fat Samurai Guy channel. That's right. That's how we roll. Uh, but yeah, everybody watching, I put everyone's information in the description box below. So you can follow them on Instagram. I also included their social security numbers and their home addresses <laughs> as well. Uh, but yeah, make sure you follow all these badasses and stay tuned for more awesome future content. And if you're new here, hey, subscribe to the old samurai guy. All right. Keep watching badass movies. Hey, make it a night. Make it a battle royale night, baby. That's right. Get the beer, get the pizza, stay up late, get that midnight crowd with you. You know what I'm saying? Get that running man battle royale in there to condemn. And then put on exile the chosen ones as just well. Make it a night. Good movie night. That just before we go, sure. exile the chosen ones is coming to theaters in the UK on August thirteenth. So book your tickets. Hell and yeah! And make sure you show up and have popcorn and get wasted, and then go home. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's how. That's how you end it. That's, that's how you end it, man. And maybe maybe you'll have a little small part for Samurai Guy in the sequel. I will bring yeah. a Samurai hybrid version three. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being on the show. Don't go anywhere, you, you guys. But we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace. Fantastic.